a special nut with metal. The air vents are lightened up. Amazing. Hello guys, welcome to Merch Bands King. This is the GLE Merch Bands King edition and today I will show you the update number three because it has been three times now that we went to Xiaowei to customize it to my own taste. So today's video will be full about the new grill, new side steps and all technology inside, which is one of one. And of course, we will talk about the GLE facelift coming up soon because some things have changed. It is not a major facelift, but in this video, I will tell you what changed in the exterior, also some small changes in the interior. But let's get back to the very moment I collected my new GLE exactly a year ago. We have been bouncing around through the city and very soon I realized I need my own edition. So Xiaowei created this one for me. For a short while I have been driving around with the AMG exterior in chrome knowing that I will have my own addition in carbon fiber very soon. So I've got the key in my hand for the Merch Benz King GLE. I will just lock it, the side mirrors fold in and on the back side of the GLE key I do have carbon fiber in glossy black. This is with the Xiaowei emblem and it also characterizes the Xiaowei carbon fiber on the exterior because all the carbon fiber on the exterior is glossy carbon fiber. In the interior we have matte carbon fiber. So what's new for phase number three? That is this glossy carbon fiber Panamericana grill. It is the exact same as the AMG Panamericana grill in chrome only covered in glossy carbon fiber with an extra protection layer around it so no stones can actually damage it. Inside we also see a special net with metal. This is to really protect the engine inside so no stones go through and normal AMGs don't have this. But in this way it looks very dark and it really emphasizes the Panamericana grill. Amazing. So tell me guys, what would you suggest me? I still have the chrome surrounding of the Mercedes star or should I also change it to full glossy carbon fiber? Maybe put some foil on the star to make it darker, but I'm not sure for the sensors if everything works correctly. But just let me know in the comment section below, should I leave it like this, that the Mercedes star is really noticeable or should I also change it to full carbon fiber? On the side, I do have new side steps. So usually they were chrome, but now in a foodie black. And Xiaowei gave me these matte black side steps. Eventually I will change it to glossy carbon fiber because I changed the door handles. But personally, I really love the matte black color. It really matches with the brakes because Xiaowei sprayed it into black. It used to be gray. It really gives contrast to the huge stand of this GLE. So if we look closer, it also matches perfectly with the door handles because these have been changed. Usually with the keyless entry, you have chrome around the door handles on the top, but shall we change it to glossy carbon fiber, which is amazing, great quality. But as I mentioned before, this matte black, beautiful Xiaowei sidestep, it really is imposing. It really makes the car look so huge. The only downside is that small stuff is really noticeable. So you just have to remove stones and other parts. The keyless entry still works with these Xiaowei glossy carbon fiber door handles. Beautiful. It really matches the key in glossy carbon fiber and even the Panamericana grill in the front, plus the Merch Benz King emblem here on the C pillar. And I told Xiaowei, please put me this emblem, just like the emblems on the Maybach. It really gives this prestige feeling and people really 
turn heads when they see an emblem on the C pillar. It still has the original rims, but I really love that Xiaowei made the brakes black. It gives a really elegant feeling and it looks just great. The rims we might also change later to the Xiaowei rims, but we still have to look at design. So in the rear, I also changed a lot together with Xiaowei. I asked Xiaowei please make the design just like the AMG because AMG always has their AMG lettering on the left. So there I have Xiaowei and on the right side GLE 400D. Plus the chrome lid on the trunk I changed it to glossy carbon fiber. I chose the 400D because I wanted a real comfortable vehicle just like the Maybach because the Maybach has the e-active and it swerves into the curves but the body stays stable. Only the wheels or suspension go like this, just like a motorcycle. And this is not possible in the 53 or 63 AMGs. So let's move over to the side once more, because we see that the wheels, or actually the stand is very wide. And this has to do with spacers. Not by a much, only one centimeter in the rear and 1.2 centimeters in the front. And I really love the view because of the glossy carbon fiber and the blacked out side step. But if we open the door, we notice new materials by Xiaowei with matte carbon fiber. The door side, the gas pedal and the brake, the complete interior is fully matte carbon fiber. We also have the Xiaowei at the entrance is in glossy carbon fiber. And even the floor mats are completely new. This is better quality. It's thicker and also easier to clean. You see the matte carbon fiber brake and gas pedal. So before we move inside, just check out these speakers on the door. Also on the A-pillar and on the side of the roof. And this is the high-end Burmester surround sound package. Beautiful 3D. Check out the new steering wheel with glossy carbon fiber. Also here on the top. And even the buttons are blacked out. Amazing. So let's move inside. I will close the door. The center console also in matte carbon fiber and it says here Burstband King Edition. Wireless charging for your phone. So right now I'm enjoying the view in the back seat of the GLE. Amazing. And I will show you some new things about the GLE facelift. Back seat infotainment system right here. There's even the extended cup holder with heating and cooling. But this is very special. Just like in the Maybach, you get it as standard in the GLS. And I really love the cushions here in the back. This is the new GLE. And I looked at the Swift's website, also USA configurator. But one thing I noticed, and that is that not all options are available just as the preface lift. For example, the high-end Burmester surround sound system, I couldn't find it. So I might be wrong, you should check out the website. But this was not there, neither was the e-active body control. This is only available in the Mercedes Maybach GLS. Plus I have this infotainment system in the rear, which is standard for the GLS Maybach. And I expect also that this will not be available in the new facelift. Even I didn't see this cup holder as an option, but it might be updated very soon. Just keep me posted guys. If you see it somewhere in the configurator, let me know. I already showed you the beautiful steering wheel by Xiaowei in fully matte carbon fiber and completely black. And it really matches the door side with a complete dashboard. Beautiful mountains over there and we are driving alongside the rocky side. And right now we are driving in this tunnel 
and I will show you the one of one gadget that we have here from Xiaomi. They never did it before, but we have it here in the GLE. The air vents are lightened up. This is also changeable. It is completely matching here with the ambient lighting inside. And as we go in the other tunnel, I will show you again, because if you change the temperature, then this complete side over there becomes red or blue, and it also changes here with the air vents. Amazing. So right now we will go on the road and talk about the new GLE facelift. The GLE facelift is actually a minor facelift. It didn't change that much compared for, to, for example, the GLC. When it came with our facelift, the navigation also changed a lot. But with this facelift of the GLE, we have new headlights, which have some dots inside, and it is more, I would say, elegant. And in the interior, not a lot has changed. We have still the 12.3 inch screens but now with the newer MBUX system. So the screen in front of you is not that configuratable. Over here, I can change the right side, the middle and the left side, but with the new GLE facelift, you only have four or five different screens that you can choose from the classic screen, sports screen and navigation. So you have a full navigation map in front of you. So, the major thing that changed in the interior is definitely the new steering wheel. It is a matter of personal taste, so it constantly knows when you are having your hands on it. And this is very important for the autonomous driving or the driving assistance. Because when you activate the driving assistance, it shows there with the steering wheel that it is active. And I just have to give a little bit of weight to the steering wheel so it knows that I'm actually driving without losing attention. So I can leave my hands off the steering wheel for like 10 seconds. But with the new sensors, you do have to have your hands on the steering wheel almost all the time because it really notices when you have your hands off. And other changes are definitely design. So right here we have a beautiful flat bottom, also a little bit more flats on the side. And I really love the two vertical lines here at the center. And with the new design, it is a little bit more closer to each other. But let me know guys, what do you think? The new steering wheel or the older AMG steering wheel? You can let me know in the comment section below. Furthermore, the rear, the tail lights, they changed. It still has the same form, so with the edgy points at the trunk area, but the illumination is different with two dots, or actually two small stripes. And with the pre facelift we have the lights all around. So also let me know, what do you think about that? So guys, as I mentioned, we are driving with the e-active body control, so I will change the system into curve mode and i already mentioned this is the mode that you can find in the maybach this is only for the e-active body control thanks for watching merzman skin guys i hope you liked the video and see you guys next time bye bye